Okay, so for today's video, we have here two laptops that we will unbox to check out their performance. Oh, it looks like we have a guest. Oh, yeah, laptops. Kuya Grant, can I join? Sure, sure. Here. Hello, guys. I'm Jillian, and I'm going to join Kuya Grant in unboxing the laptop. Okay, so let's start with the Legion 5 gaming laptop. So let me help you. Yeah. So you can turn it on. Ah, uh, here. Yes. Wow, it's RGB, and uh, it's very pretty. Yeah. It has a matte texture on it. Before we move on, I want to ask you, as a streamer and content creator, what what are the most essential feature or specs that you're looking for in a gaming laptop? Hmm, para sa akin kasi parang same requirements ko in a PC and in a laptop. Eh. The only mm -hmm. difference is that uh, kailangan kung makita yung cooling ng isang laptop since it can affect the FPS, right? Kapag yung temperature ng laptop is mainit. And at the same time, of course, I need to know the processor and the GPU itself of the laptop. Okay. Before we get into it, meron akong surprise for the viewers out there. So make sure to watch the video until the end and you might be one of the 5 lucky winners to get 1,000 pesos worth of Steam code. How cool is that? Wow, actually gusto ko din ng 1,000 Steam code. <laughs> Alright, so guys, you better watch out on how you can have these codes. So, let's get into business. Tara! Let's go! We're here to test the performance of two laptops. One is powered by the AMD Ryzen 7 6000 series processor and the other one is the Intel 12th Gen Core i7 CPU. Here we have two laptops that have the same specs except for the CPU. To keep this comparison as fair as possible, we've chosen identical laptops in the PH market. So, both of these laptops have 16GB of 4800MHz RAM, 1TB SSD, and 140W RTX 3060 graphics card. So, yung pinagkaiba lang talaga nito is the CPU. So, we're battling out Intel and AMD. On the red side, we have the ASUS TUF A15 equipped with the Ryzen 7 6800H 8-core 16-thread processor. Representing Team Blue on the other hand is an Intel Core i7 12700H CPU housed inside the Legion 5 Pro. The new 12th gen Intel Core processors use Intel's latest performance hybrid architecture. It has 6 performance cores, 8 efficiency cores, and that's a total of 20 threads. Wow. Okay, so to get more technical, both CPUs have a 45 watt TDP. So in terms of core count, the Intel Core i7 12700H laptop should have the advantage. But does that mean that it will translate to better FPS? What do you think, Jillian? I think it won't affect that much. But let's see if ever we tested out the benchmark and at the same time when we played the laptop itself. Okay. So, we tested the laptops with four benchmark softwares and four different game titles, Dota 2, CSGO, Cyberpunk, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Flash on your screen are the results of the 1080p resolution. If you want a more detailed explanation with our benchmark methodology and breakdown of the results, check out our article over at www.gadgetphilippinas.net. So, Jillian, what do you think about the results? Mm, nakita ko yung result and sobrang unexpected niya. As in, actually, if tatanungin mo kung ano yung ina-expect kong manalo, I will automatically say na kapag sa gaming, I, uh, I think na AMD mananalo eh. Okay, AMD. Mm -hmm. Pero in terms of uh, generally, the editing, uh, gaming itself, I will choose Intel. Pero... Grabe, sobrang surprising ng benchmark, guys. So, para sa akin, parehas lang silang maganda. So, I want to try it for myself kapag naglaro na tayo. So, gusto mo bang hamunin ako sa isang laro? Okay, sige, sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Before that, I'm thinking it's time to reveal how our viewers can get a chance to win 1,000 pesos worth of Steam code. 
you just have to like this video, comment down your insights on both CPU, and tag three of your friends. Kung mayro kayong kaibigan, <laughs> we'll select five winners randomly. And now, tara na maglaro kayo, Grant. Okay, tara. <laughs> okay, so our first game is Valorant. Start match. Oh, nice. Top. Oi. Oh, saan yun? That's me. Parang naririnig ko yung audio kayo. Sabi ko na kaaba. <laughs> Parang sa lang ng audio. Yun nga. Ang aking... No! Trick. Natapos. Nakakahabal pa ka. Huwag na ako mag-vlog. No! Inti! <laughs> Look at this dude! Namili ako kung sino. Oh! Okay lang. Okay, now let's dive into Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Battle Royale. Start. Oh. Nasa likod! Ah, uh, may mortar. Aray, aray. Cover ako. Uy, sakit. Uy, red box. Ang dami. Ang dami. Saan kaya isa? Ay, andito siya. Namatay ako nearby. So may kalaban. Good luck. Dami. <laughs> okay, so now let's hop into Dota 2. Let's play uh, one tur turbo game and uh, see what are the FPS numbers. Find match. Go, 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 go. Hindi ko na kaya! I tried! Nice! No! Grabe. Ang sayang, sayang, makamatay siya. Makamatay. Nice! Thank you. Makamatay na! Nice! Nice! Ayun lang. Ethereal? Sayang! Nice try. Lana, pinawa sa na winyon. No. GG. GG. Okay, so this time let's try to benchmark in real time. So both of these laptops have the same settings. Uh, ha we have ultra preset. Okay, so Jillian, uh, click run benchmark. Ilan FPS kaya? Okay, so first part of the benchmark. 60 FPS. Sayo? 53. 54. <clears throat> Let's see mamaya paglabas. Right now, 50. 8. On the AMD, it's 54. Medyo dikit ah. Tingnan natin paglabas ng building. Wala ka na igap. Malaki na yung gap. Ayan. Yeah. We're outside. I had around 70 plus FPS. 60. So, mga 60. 70, 68. 59. 69. 
Ano po, mababa na siya. <laughs> Sa letrang G. Ano ba yung sa bingo? Ilang FPS? Bingo. <laughs> bingo na. 63, okay. End of the benchmark. Okay, so for this, yung results natin. Uh, on Jillian's screen, the AMD laptop had 58.36 average FPS. While the Intel Core i7 12700H had 64.82 uh, average FPS. Okay, so medyo malaking gap. So, almost 10 FPS ka. Oo, oh, almost. So, dito ka rin na with the game, sumabot yung Intel pa ng mga around 80, 90 FPS yeah. while we're running the sequence. With the AMD laptop, we only had around mga 70 yung mga peak natin, yes. di ba? Yeah. So, doon kita mo na yung difference. So, oh, grabe yung laro ko yung Granty. Paano ba yun? <laughs> na 9 <-zero> ito? <laughs> Oo nga. Oo nga. So, how's your experience in using both gaming laptops? Para sa akin, as a PC user, as a computer user, Sobrang hirap para sa akin gumamit ng laptop. Kasi syempre, yung mga laptop na nagagamit ko is mabilis uminit. Mm -hmm. And tendency nun is bumababa yung FPS. To the point na hindi ko malaro ng maayos yung mga laro na nilalaro ko. Pero while using this Intel-powered laptop, sobrang great experience niya. It feels like I'm just using a normal computer na powered rin ng Intel. Kasi I'm using Intel as well, guys. Oh, okay. So yeah, yeah. And... Uh, at the same time, the performance it's giving sobrang layo ng gap when I use the AMD-powered laptop one. So, yeah, it's a great experience. Thank you so much. Okay, so a lot of points that you mentioned are thanks to the PNE course. Intel's Thread Director's ability to assign which apps or process uh, should run on this course greatly contribute to the overall system stability, mm -hmm. efficiency, and of course, performance. So, you experience mo naman kanina when we were switching between the games. Okay, so if you're looking for a laptop, whether it be for professional photo, video, or edit, video editing, gaming, or streaming, then look no further than Intel 12th Gen Core Series laptops. Thank you, Jillian, for joining us in this video. Okay, Ka gusto ko ng rematch, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and as well as thank you, Gadget Filipinas. I add shout out to Gadget Filipinas for making me experience this kind of video and making me use this type of studio. Sobrang ganda. And I'm really glad to witness an actual comparison and benchmark of these two processors. Grabe yung labanan ng dalawang processors na to. To learn more about Intel 12th Gen Core mobile processors and where to buy Intel 12th Gen Power Laptops, make sure to visit Intel Philippines Facebook page and the links posted in the description. <laughs> also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook page at Chilean Santos and watch my streams at twitch.tv slash Shao Xiao.